All right, to simplify things, the drum track is just one file and it's going from 60 to 120 in 10 beat per minute increments. So if you have any questions with what's going on there, please let me know. So I'm gonna demo this at the 60 and 120 for everything. So big trick here is just remembering where to slide. So this is what it sounds like slow and I'll be doing the metronome here, but you use the drums when you practice. One, two, three, four. Okay, number two. So you got pick, slide, slide. Pick, slide, slide. So you can just have two slides in a row there. Every time starting on beat three. 60 beats per minute. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Three and four, we're working on using multiple fingers with the left hand. Uh, so, yeah, just start running through it here and watch what I do with my left hand. Basically, you'll be going between your first and second finger at first. So, this bar, you got your first and second, and then first and fourth. And then that does that again here, first, second, first, and fourth. And then here, you're going to use your first, third, first, fourth. So basically, your index finger is on the 12 here. And then move your index finger down to the 10 here. And the finger that sits right on top of the fret is what you would use. So 60 beats per minute. One, two, three, four. Take two, one, two, three, four. The pinky chords are a little bit difficult. 
So if you're only hitting two of the st three strings with the pinky, that's okay. As long as the E and the A string are ringing out, then you're good. All right, 60 beats per minute for number four. So you'll keep moving your index finger up. Uh, and the only time you use your pinky is going to be the very end here. So here we go. Number four is 60 beats per minute. One, two, three, four. So, yeah, let me know how the drum thing goes. Hopefully that works out okay. So just rewind it back to whatever, you know, time stamp you need to, to redo the drums at whatever speed. Um, and yeah, so if you, since we got the four things spread out for, uh, through two weeks, if you want to just work on numbers one and two for this coming week, and then start working on three and four the next week, that's fine. Uh, definitely record yourself at the end of this week so maybe on Sunday record yourself doing numbers one and two just like playing along with the drums and then the next week we'll take a look at three and four so up to you if you'd rather just keep working on all four throughout the next two weeks or split it up but uh, if you have any questions let me know hope you have a good holiday and I'll see you in two weeks